the game really well. He knows he, he's very studious about it, so he kind of knows like all the frame data, all like the matchup options, um, and he's pretty helpful with people that have asked for advice. Or if he beats you in a certain way, he'll, he'll explain what kind of your options are. Um, he's always trying to learn. He's, he's always trying to play top players and learn. He's very ambitious about uh, you know becoming one of these next big top players. He's got some decent wins on his belt already. Underperformed with Super Booth, but he's, you know, for the most part, been pretty solid in his short, early career at Smash. That's such a risky dash attack. Because if Mark doesn't get up attack, then LD, like, DI's off stage and he just dies. Dash attack at the ledge scares me. Um, LD's dash attack? Yeah. So, like, if you, a lot of times you'll catch Pikachu because they'll drop an up air. Yeah. And they usually jump right away in up air. So, what happens is uh, Pika's up air takes like 10 frames to come Oh, yeah. It, no, I get, I get that. Um, whoa! He grabbed the ledge, but then he missed it. He didn't really reach for that. Yeah, get that so extra that percent. <laughs> Uh, well, and if Bark had, if Bark had thrown out an attack there or something like that, the dash attack's effective much. against like people that aren't fully prepared to like, oh, like, for works. Fox, for like LD's Fox. But the dash attack is so bad if, if like someone knows what they're doing. Yeah, if they can just like get up attack or anything. It's just the reverse. Yeah, the, the Yo Yoshi. Versus, it yeah. happens to Yoshi a lot too. Yeah, it just pops him to the off stage, uh, and then it's just simple edge guard. Rip. I think it's like a back, yeah. Yo. Yeah, oh. Yo, Fox back air is so good. Yeah, Fox back air is ridiculous. You can rising back air and hit Pika from the ground. Fox's, all Fox's moves come out so fast. It's so stupid. This guy, like, he has he's no... On it, and he's on his guard. He has no vulnerability. And he can, he can rising up air. Pika's on oh, the ground. Oh, he just missed Pika's the button like, there. Even if, I, I don't know if Pika's, if Pika's crouching in but Pika's standing on the ground. If Fox just does a rising up air, it catches Pika, double hit up, pops him up, and then he can just start his ear to death. You can, as Fox, you can kind of like space your back air, and if you see they're going to, um, you're like uh, not going to hit them, and you'll be in range to get grabbed, you can just kind of pull back in a little bit, and then there's usually enough distance that you can just dash away and avoid any Pika's dashing in for a grab, because Fox's initial dash is faster than Pika's, Pika's initial dash. Um, and then like, you know, you can kind of like jump out, see where the Pika's going, and then late react, back air, commit, hit them, and then... A lot of Pikas will drop off the ledge too. They're like, up to the ledge, they'll drop off, they'll jump back up. You can just stand at the ledge, run away, jump, let them do their aerial, and then jump back air. Because uh, back air will beat like any peak aerial other than up air, and up air will usually oh, finish before Pika lands. Oh, he missed smash. So then you just get the... Um, all right, that like, why did that work? That's yeah. not supposed to work. That's what I gotta learn with my. He up just upbeat right in his face. <laughs> well, he jumped and Pika reacted to where he's gonna go, and he stalled himself prematurely because Pika's oh, always gonna so commit. Close to him. And then he just upbeat, upbeat through. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Game set. This game's winner is. That last stock was oh. tough. LD, first tournament back, lost to Bark. Two, he lost both sets. He didn't take a single set against Bark. I don't think at the MVP. Yeah. Think. Second tournament back. He hasn't. He dropped the game yet? No, not yet. LD back. The uh, the, sec, the the loser set or grand finals MVP was game five. So I was I was actually really close. I don't remember winners. What, how much damage does, does up beat up uh, smash do with Fox? I feel like he could have tech chase up. LD never does this. You never see LD do it. Never oh, tech, tech chase, chase up tech smash? Chase no, he'll tech chase jab. Yeah, I, I just. I don't think it's as effective. Tech chase well, up smash is so right, good. Uh, tech chase jab is safer. Because uh, if you miss the up smash. But the smash. problem is you can't, da you can't jab at a full dash. You, yeah. Like, you have to like shield stop or something. LD can. So, like, with Tech Chase uh, up Smash, you can chase them in any direction they go and just catch the up smash and finish them off. I don't know. Woo, Fox's up smash is so good. Yeah, LD, it kills so early. LD just gimped Pika. 
That's the that's like one of his things. He just all right. So when you're invincible, he runs to the edge and then runs past you and then does, jumps back and does an up air. He does this all the time. And he catches them every time. He yeah, goes. he catches people with it all the time, including me. Because I always think, like I'm Falcon, I'm always like, all right, I know he's going to jump up smash, and I'm just going to, or I know he's going to jump up air, and I'm just going to up, up smash, smash him. him. But he does and that then, like the And then it, like, he, he does it on like the first the, possible frame yeah, every time. The last frame of, of invincibility he hits you at the end. He always, I don't know, he's got, he's got very good timing. That's the thing LD is best known for. Oh, the jab extended the hurt box. Yeah, because so grab like, was just ridiculous. Lois talking about how, like, you have to read it, the, the yeah, tech it's to do that smash. It's LD so easy, though. Like, up smash, like, techs are so easy to read. LD and doesn't read tech, he only reacts. You can react to tech, it's so simple. It's not even a read. You can literally just react to tech. You just stand there, watch where they go, and then just punish. Foxes, you just run through where they are, shield stop, shield stop, and then Fox's initial dash is faster than their tech, and any tech direction has 20 frames of vulnerability. So if they tech in place, there's still two frames of vulnerability, and it's like blue for him, so you can up smash fairly early right. and just catch up with the hitbox. So box. something LD started doing at MVP, um, stalling with the with shine off stage. Um, it's really good because when, when Pikachu jumps and starts making that commitment, like he's gonna edge guard, you shine stop where you're jumping. You're, to yeah, you're just stalling because then they they have to go back. Yeah. Um, so you you know you're probably still gonna get edge guarded, but it gives you a little bit more leeway. All right. Bark has to forward, pivot forward till would have caught LD there, and then he would have fell up to grab the off stage. Bark's about to make a four one comeback. Oh. You can't edge guard Fox. What are you doing, up, Mark? You know this. Everybody knows this. Everybody knows this. Uh, so LD's put on 14% with the last three stocks. Like if you're ever in a tech position, you're just you should be dead. Like teching is so, teching is just you're dead. It's just there's no good options against fast characters like Fox, Falcon, Yoshi. They should all cover every tech option for zero death. They have the tools to do it. Most people are just really bad at carrying that down. Ooh, I don't know if he wanted the forward air. Up air would have set up a combo. A lot of Pikas go straight for that ledge. They get caught by that, that dash attack. They have no jump, and then usually early can finish them off. Spider Bark to go up top. And then, oh, are you back here? I thought you were going for it. This I think, is I think, scary. I think this he scary. knew up air wouldn't kill there. Now, now I think it will. This is going to be tough. LD's so good at punishing Pikas. Oh, oh he misses no. the Bark. Oh, so he gets the grab. Right, so LD, can he do something crazy? Yes. All right, that nice. forward air was, was huge. Yeah, that was good by Bark. Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> Bark makes a huge three. comeback. Yeah, was that 4-1? That was 4-1. It was interesting because, like, let's say LD did grab the ledge off that up B, but that up at 141 up, I mean, up B does eventually kill Pika, like, not like super low percent, but under 200, I think even under 150 maybe. That up B might have knocked Pika over the top, Bark or LD might have won. That I don't game. think it was. I don't think it was gonna knock Pika yeah. out. It was close. I don't think it was enough though. I've died from from LD's up B before as Pika <laughs> at, at percentages lower than I thought I was gonna die at. <laughs> and at 141 seems like that was in range. Nah, that's archetype one, LD, right there. Yeah. And that combo is actually really simple. It looks cooler than it is. That's like, that's the standard Fox combo, yeah. I think. You knew their edge was. Quarter circle like, forward. Yeah, it's like, you know, <laughs> pin the tail on the donkey with, with, without any challenge. Of course it's me screaming in the background. <laughs> Yo, so actually... <laughs> Who else is screaming hentai in Baltimore? <laughs> yeah. So actually, uh, when people came over Saturday or Friday night, I just put a headset on the table, and it was, like, perfect. Like, just, you just, it, it, picked it just up the crowd audio? It just picked up everything. Yeah. It was great. You just, I guess, let's set the game really, really high or something? Like low, whatever, yeah, like we have to set the game low. Low, that's what it is, yeah. No human. They said V is a national treasure. Yeah, but which country really wants that treasure? 
Yeah, is it like Nick Cage cash treasure? That's just the <laughs> I never saw any of those movies. Uh, I never saw the mummy. It's your, it's your typical. <laughs> yeah, that's good. It's like you're just your typical like cheesy. It's like a what's the Dan Brown movies they did? Uh, Vinci Code. It's like oh. the Vinci Code, but with like the Declaration of Independence. You know? <laughs> It's Nick Cage. The chick's really hot. I don't remember what her name is. This is uh, she was the German, the German girl in um, uh, Glorious Bastards. I don't remember. Oh. Her. What's her name? Oh. <laughs> That's silly. It's just silly. He whiffs the up smash and doesn't get punished. Back here too good. This is like killing Ooh. me. What's that girl's name? It's uh, it's on tip, it's tip of my tongue. I'm gonna look it up, and I'm gonna be like, ah, oh, I knew that, you know. Worth it, Gil? Not enough. Jeez. All right, now let's see if LD can make a comeback. He can. He's done this before. I'm sure he has. Diane Kruger. That's it. Yeah. Yo, every time I go to your house, my phone starts Chromecasting, like, automatically. Oh, it's... So anytime a Chromecast is running, it'll pop up on your... Um, am I, am I, is it auto-broadcasting to your house, or do I have to, like... No, it's like someone, like, Libby's upstairs using Chromecast. <laughs> Yo, LD, making the comeback! So every time you close it, it closes the Chromecast. <laughs> so I can just sabotage? Yeah. That's kind of stupid. It, it's, it's yeah, like, there's probably a like, way to... I, it should have, like, you need to put a code in to, like, sync with your... Oh, he, he, that sync, was... sync with your um, your Chromecast. It just lets me just yeah, I don't know, no weird. encryption. No I'm, I'm sure there's I some something I could do. Hop on and do whatever I want. Yeah, again, the shine stalls are really helping. Oh, him. LD, that's like his recovery is just cheating. It's just yeah, cheating. there's like, nothing he can that, do there. That's that's right. When Fox gets stuck low recovering, he's dead. Yeah. Uh, Fox is best recovering high or far away, which kind of like leads into what like Kiro's advice is. is. Get Fox off stage at the earliest possible because he's going to be close. He's going to be low. He's going to be jumping in. And you usually put a tilt hitbox in that covers that. When you give Fox distance to recover, like the further, a lot of characters you want them very far away because their up B option is only going to the ledge. With Fox, he's he's at his best when he has the furthest distance. I have to agree with Kira on that. If we can see just LD taking advantage of all that. Yeah, so we so uh, Lo's talking about how uh, LD uses the shine stall. That's what you were talking about, Dark. Uh, at MVP he started doing. Yeah, he started doing it there. And it's become really effective in his recovery. He just like catches, catches like edge guard commitments off because they'll like jump out and they don't just shine. So he's no longer in the position that they're reading for. And then he just and then it, it forces what it does is it forces them to go back because they, yeah. they ran they run out of real and estate. And then he freeze the ledge. And usually they're at a distance where it's not easy for them to get like sweet spot the ledge. They have to like double up B from a hard angle. So it usually allows him a free recovery to the ledge. Yeah, honestly, like after like a long time ago, just watching like random melee stuff and seeing people the, shine solid, I wonder why no one number, did so, it. So V's asking about port priority if anyone's listening. Uh, port one has priority over port two, has priority over port three, has priority over port, port four. Except when you die, because uh, they their death is calculated first, so that's a, you know the last port wins the death priority. But. Nice there you go, run up there very yeah, easily. I did that once and I just couldn't up you back. I, don't know. I guess I just jumped and immediately up beat. I'm thinking like Luigi. Oh, yeah. Because uh, his uh, second jump isn't as high as his first. Dude, Fox's second jump is crazy. It's ridiculous. Uh, you wanted a fa like reverse back air. Reverse back air to jab a smash on the side play. That was a mistake that fast forward made from the top spot. Aldi went for a tech read and he <laughs> messed it up. This is why Ali doesn't go for tech reads. Oh, I didn't miss the ledge. Oh, don't. You can't fastball down air Pika when he's standing on the ground. He's just going to up tell you. 
That, like, he tried to get a kick. He, he stopped and did a jab, though. He stopped <laughs> yeah, the jab. That was and, sick. He stopped the jab and then chased. Like, if he didn't do the jab, he would have been e easily able to get the he just He just teched and then pivoted behind Bark and jab up. Smash All it. directional techs on every character have 20 frames of vulnerability. So you just don't do the jab and waste your time. Just react to where they're going. You have basically their their tech read, their tech did roll time, and then another 20 frames. Oh, he didn't get the runoff yeah. there. You have, you have the, the time that it takes for them to do the tech, and then 20 frames more to get the out smash. And out smash is what, like six, seven frames for Fox? So you just your initial dash is like 15 frames. It's guaranteed. You can wow. just react in five frames and then just dash up smash and it beats the tech every time. That missed edge guard turned into a stock realty. That's <laughs> yeah, not a position you want to be in. It's like backed up in the corner. I don't know about Rolling, that roll. Yeah, I don't know if that was. That's correct. Oh. Uh, so Bark up 1 0 and Grand Final set 2. LD, it's easy. Just go Falcon. Or Jigglypuff. Bart destroyed uh, Boom's Fox the one game they played in tournament. But I, I feel like if they played a set, it would be a whole different. You know, like people always want to talk about the one game. Like you know, in LDs or Bart destroyed LD in one game and then still lost the set. I feel like you know, one game isn't enough. I would still say you know Boom's Fox. Maybe just meet Bart, but it's not like that one game where you got wrecked. It's not like he's gonna always get wrecked every time he plays Boom's Fox. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yep, you're right. LD's terrible at edge guarding Pika. <laughs> I can use the ice Too many beers. Ugh. It's a rough life. Yeah. <laughs> Before this stream ends, I'm just going to say uh, my Fox will get top 8 at Smash and Smash. <laughs> Anyone in Wisconsin, if you're watching this, my Fox versus you, money match, it will destroy you. <laughs> oh, I missed a Z cancel. <laughs> that little LD eyebrow raise there. <laughs> Low, he should not be getting that. Oh, he got back. LD says shield drops aren't necessary. Is he mango? It should have been over like twice already. He's a catch with like. Mark's gonna take this 2 0. Yeah. 
It's I mean, LD like can, it. Oh, oh that, that's, that's a mistake. Yeah. yeah. Ouch. LD, I would say, I would have said LD had a chance. Um, oh, yeah, that's but it. But then he got forward smash. Yeah. He's complaining about the forward smash. All right. Same. All right. Console, the console lag.